Welcome back to Teshkid Effects for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Phantom whose current price stands at the 0.2327 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 0.56% and in this video I want to give you the short term and the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing my analysis on the additive structures, the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart by giving you a brief of what has been happening here on the phantom chart so phantom from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all-time high at around the 3.5 dollar mark in a movement that i'm terming as a higher edit wave contour onto the upside and after seeing the all-time high we have been seeing no prices in this massive abc corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the 0.16 dollar mark in a movement that i'm terming as a higher edit wave contour and after seeing the formation of a higher edit wave contour whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edit wave count three before we see our way four then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave five and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this editor structure and give you a measure from the all-time high from the all-time high you can see that phantom is down more than 94 percent and that means there are chances that we might have seen the low for that higher editor wave count too and there are chances that very soon you might continue seeing higher prices in the formation of this wave three and that does not mean that there is no chance of making a new low here on the phantom chart we also need to be prepared for any movements to the lower side that can give us a new low here on the phantom chart and sketching out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 5.8479 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that wave 3 to the upside to do before we see a wave 4 then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 and that is my long term scenario that I'm expecting to play out here on the phantom chart and jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and also give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the one hour chart you can see that down here this is where we made our low at around the 0.16 dollar mark and from there we started seeing a very nice bounce to the upside in a movement that has been obeying the editor structures and if I draw out my editor structure on this chart we can have these as the first wave to the upside then we saw these ABC corrective structure over here in the formation of a second wave then so a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave three then i'm expecting a bit of a retracement here on the charts in the formation of this wave four then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave five to complete a higher edit wave count one to the upside and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this edit wave structure that i have right here i can first get to see whether this wave three to the upside has done the minimum that we expect a wave three to the upside to do by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 which is a target area that we have fully maximized then we continued pushing even higher to the fib level 2.618 and that means we have an extended wave three to the upside and whatever we expect after seeing the high for that wave three is a bit of a pullback over here in the formation of this wave four and because our wave 4 is a corrective wave we also expect to see an abc corrective structure so i'm expecting to see an abc corrective structure over here having the wave c fully maximizing the formation of that wave 4 and using the fibonacci's i can sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave three and that gives me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that wave four between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 which perfectly lies between the 0.2199 dollar mark and the 0.21 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that uh, fourth wave to the lower side to do and in the formation of that fourth wave we also have a chart pattern that is in formation over here that is fully supporting uh, that movement to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 and that chart pattern is a double top and you can see we had this impulsive movement making the first top then so a bit of a pullback then made another top then so another pullback over here forming the neckline then continued pushing higher seeing the formation of a third top and that completed the formation of a triple top and now i'm expecting a breakout to the lower side and this is a chart pattern that gives us a minimum target area of the breakout as the height between the tops and 
the neckline and I can get that height and then place it below the neckline which perfectly gives me a minimum target area back to around the 0.21 to 7 dollar mark which perfectly lies within this red target area that I have sketched out using the Fibonacci's and that means in case we continue seeing no prices and fully uh, maximize the breakout out of this chart pattern over here that will be fully maximizing the formation of this fourth wave then expect a, another impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of that wave five to complete a higher idea to have count one and also taking a look at the uh, the ma here on the one hour chart you can see we have managed to break above the 20 day ma and we are trading above it and that means it's acting as support at the moment and that means uh, higher prices uh, could be supported by the 20 day ma since it's acting as support and also taking a look at the indicators here on the one hour chart here on the one hour rsi we are trading at around the 48 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upside and also any movements to the lower side will still be supported also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices are coming our way so we might see a bit of a recovery over here before seeing another break down to the lower side to fully maximize the formation of this fourth wave and we need to be prepared this week because i'm expecting a lot of volatility this week given the fomc meetings that uh, will happen tomorrow and after the meeting i'm expecting a lot of volatility and in case the meeting has a negative impact on the market then i will expect a phantom to fully maximize the formation of this fourth wave and in case we experience a lot of volatility there are also chances of making a new low here on the phantom chart so let's be prepared for that and continue waiting for tomorrow for the fomc meetings and i'll keep you updated on anything that happens tomorrow and if you like the video make sure that you give me a thumbs up and also check out the channel membership that's all